of famous people and celebrities who died over 2020. And I thought to myself for a moment, how many of them left behind one good deed that will benefit them? And how many of them left behind corruption, immorality, lewdness, nudity, the lowest forms of art and, uh, and literature? And in the case of the tyrants, the trail of destruction that they left behind them. You may say, I'm just a normal person. I mean, I don't do any of these major sins. Uh, I don't harm anyone. But can you really be content with that? Many people, my dear respected brothers and sisters, and we'll conclude here. Many people, they live unknown. And they die unknown. And more importantly, no one misses them or is sad at their death. So did they truly live? Al-Imam Shafi'i, he said, قَدْ مَاتَ قَوْمٌ وَمَا مَاتَتْ فَضَائِلُهُمْ وَعَاشَ قَوْمٌ وَهُمْ فِي, وهم في النَّاسِ أَمْوَاتُ Al-Imam Shafi'i, he says in this line of poetry, a people have died, but their good deeds are alive amongst the people. And a people are living, and they are amongst the people dead. So are you living now, and will you continue to live through your deeds after your death? Or will you be like the dead amongst the living? My dear respected brothers and sisters, let us leave behind a legacy, an illustrious legacy of good deeds. To build a mosque, to dig a well, to support, uh, uh, to, to make a child a half of the Quran, to make somebody graduate from university with a great degree, leave behind a trail of good deeds so that when you die, you're missed and the people make dua for you. And that when you die, although the people miss you, you are embraced and welcomed by Allah's noble slaves, His angels.